Yeah, let's see if that disappears, actually. Good test. No, it doesn't. Okay. Come on, you can do it. You can repa repair faster than they are. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die Alpha 18 in Darkness Falls. We upgraded now to 18.2. I didn't realize I was still on 18.1 with Darkness Falls. Um, so 18.3 is not out yet. It is an experimental, so I don't want to use that just yet. So let's have a little bit to eat. Let's pick up some flagstone blocks and we're going to divide them in a few blocks because we're going to work on our entry point. So. You guys are amazing. You showed me a lot of ideas, which is great. I have to actually be careful. Do I have any bullets with me? I do only a few. So, in one of the screenshots you guys were showing me, or videos even, you were showing me a nice way of actually dealing with um, a way for the controlling where the zombies are coming from, at the same time having them not destroy your whole base, which is really, really good. But at the same time, it gives me a chance to slowly build this here up without getting to too much trouble. So we're gonna go onto this side here and we're going to destroy, well, we're gonna have to still fix all of this, but we're going to do two things. First of all, this is quite a big gap to go from one block to another. And I don't know if the bars are, will, will be able to hold all that. So we're going to build a supporting connection all the way across from the top to this top. So we're gonna have to find a way up. Um, we're probably going to build some ladders or something like in the meantime, so let's do that. There we go, eight should be enough, and we're going to make some more cobblestone rocks as well. There we go. Okay, so let's get the ladder. Actually, we leave that down. Excellent stuff, and I think we're going to go up here. Okay, exactly where I wanted it. It never goes wrong. It hardly ever goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the idea is to build out of cobblestone or flagstone in this case and then upgrade to cobblestone. A supporting block going here on the side across or actually going across from here. So that way the supporting block can hold the bars as well in place, which is great. So we're basically doing this. Ah crap, I forgot about that. Oh balls. <laughs> Okay, let's go back here. And let's bring this across. And we're gonna upgrade that pretty much straight away. So you can actually see already in a little test here now where these guys are going to. And he's coming straight away over here, which is great. Nice. So he's trying to desperately come up here, but he can't get up, which is amazing. And, okay, we don't actually have enough bullets either. So do we have any bullets for this gun? No. Let's go down and deal with him, mano el mano. There we go. Excellent. There go. It does a lovely damage, that spear. Very, very nice. Okay, so this is the idea. To bring this across, and that way, we have something to hold it in place. And we're going to do the same on the other side. And then we're going to start building a center point here for the zombies. Well, for the zombies not to get up, which is going to be great. So, whoops. I'm going to have to get up here and do the same on the other side. So this is going to be mainly a building episode. But when it's coming daylight, one thing we haven't done in Darkness Falls is actually any quests. I don't think we have done any of the quests. There's a tier 1 fetch quest, which I haven't done yet. And it's really something that I should be doing. And I don't have any transport yet, but I don't know. Can I make a bike already? I don't think I have anything unlocked. The mini bike. No, no, no. Let me see. Chassis. The bicycle, I, can't, I don't have anything unlocked yet. So with the next points we have, we might have to look at unlocking some of this transport. So let me just have a look here. Where do we get? There we go. Bicycle for dumb shits. And what do I need for it? Player level 5? And it's already available. So we need player level 5. That's all we need for it. And we're now player level... We should Surely we're player level, level 5. Or oh, what is GTE? Yeah, I did the same mistake last time. I actually have the mechanic class and all I need is put a point into Grease Monkey and then we can make the bicycle. So I think we can make wheels. We definitely have enough. And then we can do the chassis as well. 
and um, do that because once we have a bicycle it makes it a lot easier to do some of the quests so let's just connect these guys here as well there we go nice brilliant and this should hopefully add um, some extra capacity or extra ability to carry things so let's upgrade these as well and that should really all we need because we should be able to redirect the zombies whichever way we want and the only danger to this is exploding zombies or cops or whatever so we can ooh, do this this is very dangerous we're gonna have to probably put a couple of more of those bound here let me see bars wood bars say so let's put 10 down here in place actually we can scrap that there we go I don't know if 10 is enough but we surely can figure that out there we go one two three four so eight excellent very nice and let's finish that off good and that means we can walk across we have a little bit of room to destroy things which is great and um, that should be good i like it great we're in trouble now ha ah, man okay they're destroying everything there we go nice there is quite a lot <laughs> and i don't have the arrows right now to deal with them so yeah we're just gonna have to run i think let's go let's go down on the other side and let's leg it I think they lost interest. Let me turn the lights off. There's a few of them. Let's get the single ones. There we go, very nice. I like it. There's the next one. Nice, that's good money. There we go, we got a few, we got a few. Hopefully not a lot. getting a couple of presents which is great okay oh hello how is he still alive okay let's get some more pills and then continue working so we have the middle measured up there. Oh, hello, thank you. Nice. So this is approximately the center. Now it's an even number apart, which is actually very good for what we want to do. And this is, okay, I can't get to it now, but this is the center. So, which means if we're here, this should be the center. So exactly above us. Nope, I think we missed it by one block. Let me just see. Yeah, we missed it. Well, it doesn't matter. So, but this is the center either way. These two. Excellent. And this will end exactly here with um, two blocks apart as well, I think. So we have one block here, right there. And then it's from this block. Let me just get that exactly. One, two, three, four, five. From this block, 
one, two, three, four, five. Excellent. So this is the center, which is beautiful and exactly what we needed. So, all right, this is how we're going to connect it. And we're going to go as far back as this. Now, this is going to be flagstone blocks. There we go. I don't know how wide this is going to be, but it's going to be at least up to here. And they're gonna be flagstone, not cobblestone. And I'm not sure if we're gonna upgrade the center blocks at some point. Um, let me take these off. And then bring these up. And actually this block here is one too many. Because this is how they're gonna connect. No, I think it's fine. Let's make it one higher. That's perfect. And we're just going to be one up on top of that. Okay, here we go. And we're going to go up here. And now we're going to place this one down the other way. Is that the right way around? It's very hard to see. I really wish they would have different models. Uh, stronger um, models to see what you're actually placing down. That would be really great. There we go. And now we're going to put this on top. The same way. Come on. And this on top, this same way. There we go. Excellent. Wall slide still works. Now, this is where we're going to have the zombies walk up, which is going to be amazing. So we're going to <laughs> have to get a little bit higher up. I don't think we can reach it. Yeah, we can. Look at that. Excellent. And then we're going to put one of those down. Let's make sure it's the same rotation. Beautiful, then a full block, all the way down. And that seems to be the only thing that really works on a high level. There we go. And I want it to be about three blocks away from here so that the zombies can't use this as a leg up. There we go. Let's finish this. Beautiful. And we can make this as long as we want right now. We're just making one side. Beautiful. Now we can get up here, of course. Well, we can run up there. We can't really walk up there. We can run. And by going up here and then it, it being able to jump immediately. I don't know if we can actually get, go on the tip. Oh, we can. Look at that. That's actually pretty impressive. That's very hard to stay on it. We can jump right on top of that. Which we're going to get to right now. So we're connecting the blocks here to go across and across here there we go nice and that should all hold because well it should we're gonna upgrade these guys to cobble as well of course as strong as possible so whatever's holding this up is going to be upgraded including these guys here brilliant and on the bottom below, we're just going to have bars going all the way across or whatever, because the bars are actually quite strong. They can hold a lot of weight and they will just add to it. But for now, we're just going to leave this here open so we can shoot down. We can do whatever we want. And on the other side of the pyramid here, we're going to leave actually a gap as well if we want to, because that means we can run up here on that side or the pyramid side. It doesn't really matter. And the zombies can't and we can get back into our base. But this here will basically force the zombies to continuously come up here and then drop down here and we can shoot at them, we can set them on fire or we can go down, do a little bit of melee action if we feel like it, shoot them in the face and then come back up here uh, really quickly. And this here should not be something to worry about because they should always be enticed to come right over here. But let's uh, finish this connection here. Hopefully that won't collapse. Excellent. Let's upgrade that as well to the highest possible. Our first concrete is going to go on the joints here, on the connections for this. Sorry, I had the flash torch light on. Do we have enough to upgrade it all? I think so. Let's actually see what happens if he, if he follows us or if he's going to start beating on it. So I'm just going to build it out as long as I can just to see how far we can build it. And we're just going to sprint up there. You can see it costs us no sprint power. And then up here, we can just simply go across. So let's see if he's going to try to come and follow us. He is which is amazing. So we can just Geronimo down here. 
And then, of course, really cool in the end, punch him in the face after he hit us. <laughs> we leveled up. Thank you so much. We can now go into Grease Monkey. Where is it? Here. No? Here. I was worried there for a second. Okay, let's go into Grease Monkey. Excellent. All right. Now, if we go in the next one, we can do the mini bike. Which theoretically would be better than the bicycle. Let me just open that up again. So if we go here, the mini bike. So let me just see mini bike. What do we need for that? So for a mini bike, I would need, okay, I don't want the armor, the actual chassis. So the mini bike requires the mini bike chassis and the mini bike handlebars. Engine and lead battery easily obtained. Uh, mini bike chassis. Okay, forged iron. We have that. We have that. Duct tape. No problem. We can do that. And then we have the mini bike handlebar. Which I think we can make as well. We have a headlight and we definitely have the mechanical parts. Okay, let's uh, kill a couple of more zombies for some levels and then we're going to go and see if we have the parts or if we're just going to do a bicycle first. Because it might actually be worth it to just do a bicycle first. There we go. I found actually the um, shovel very powerful. There we go. Look at that. If you get it into the head, bam! End of story. That is really sweet. Do another shovel kill here. Look at this. This is a pharaoh. Bam! In the face. Oh, look at that beauty. Bam! Shovel master killer. Unbelievable. Beautiful. Okay, we really should. That, that bothers me. We have to fix this. We definitely have enough ingredients for mini bike, but I think we should definitely work on the bicycle first. Two springs, four springs, and six pipes. Four springs and six pipes. One, one, two, three, four. And I think pipes we have here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we should be able to queue up. Okay, let's stop this and then queue up bicycle, chassis, and handlebars. Very good. And that's it. I totally forgot I made some iron arrowheads here and some darts. So that means we can actually make iron arrows now, which is pretty amazing. So let's um, put the sticks here. Yeah, I just crafted more sharp stone and everything. Completely forgot that I should have enough feathers here that I saved. There we go. Look at that. I'm like a moron um, not making any arrows because I completely forgot that I had them queued up there. So let's put the bullet back. There we go. And let's make the bicycle. That should be finished now. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Look at that. That's beautiful. So let's put this ammunition here to the side because that's for the dart traps. And... Let's make some iron arrowheads. That is awesome. So what do we need for that? We need sticks and cloth fragments of feathers. So sticks. We don't need any, any more sharp stone. That is actually pretty amazing. Okay, let's put the sharp stone away and let's make sure we have the sticks on us. There we go. Iron arrows. With... What is the difference between this and this? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Beautiful. And I have more sticks on the other side. Oh, hello. I did not see you there. How much damage did you cause? Actually, don't know. Let's see. You were hitting it for a while. Oh, yeah. I forgot. They actually hit the wall here on the side for some extremely weird, obscure reason that nobody understands. And here we have our bicycle. Very nice. I love it. The stats look a little bit funky down there because I can still see them. I don't know if that's intentionally, but I like that you can see them, which is good. So you can see your food and your thirst. Actually, I should have had another ah, bacon thing. Absolutely. My stamina has not gone down. I think that's because I have a huge amount of sexy saurus. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not actually going down. But if I jump, yeah, it's going down. Let me see if it's actually going down or if it's going up as well while I cycle. So if I hold shift, it just stays. Okay, and it goes ever so slightly up. Very good. That is nice. I like that. What is this? Ooh, loads of dead bodies. We're going to have to take them for bones. 
There we go, let's run it over. There we go, beautiful, love it. This is gonna be our Horde Knight killing machine, this bicycle. And here we go. Beautiful. Let's see what's in the airdrop. Oh, wow. Holy crap, that is some serious food. We actually have a, cl a quest close by here, which I think will also be handed in. In the trader, oh, dogs, ugh, okay. The dog's days are over, so we have to kill some zombie dogs, which actually isn't that difficult. All you need is a couple of blocks to stand on, and then you can kill them from on top of the blocks. But I think you have to be quick, because the moment you activate the quest, this is how I've done the quest before. The moment you activate the quest, you have to build, and it depends what terrain you're on. It might be terrible terrain, but we'll see. Okay, we are here. Where is the marker? Okay, it's right here in front of us. There we go. Okay, so what you want is some kind of surface which is even. Okay, we're going to pick up this bicycle up just in case so it doesn't disappear. And then as soon as you activate the quest... Where's the marker? There. You're going to have to put the frames down and upgrade them. So we need something to upgrade them. There we go. We don't need cobblestone for that. And... Oh, let's actually... Very good. And I think we can use this here yeah let's see if that disappears actually good test no it doesn't okay okay. come on you can do it you can repa repair faster than they are there we go next one down and the next one down before it breaks there you go Whew, okay that was close that was close <laughs> I got a bit nervous there okay very good it's gonna give us good amount of rotten meat though and bones very nice I like it might as well do the cable guy quest now I think our bicycle will be safe let's activate the quest Excellent. If they're not feral and they're not running, we should be okay. Sorry, I'm shaking a bit with my mouse because I'm trying to keep an eye on where everything else is. There we go, very nice. Oh, bird's nest, nice. Excellent. Done. Oh, and this guy actually took care of this. And we... Okay. It's like he, he just killed that zombie and then went... Oh, that's disturbing, my friend. You have to get a real person girlfriend. <laughs> okay, let's see what other quests we actually have nearby. Because that is pretty cool. Um, we've Oh, we have the Lumberjacks actually nearby, which would be great as well. And these guys here are just, I think they're just monetary wards there. Look at that. Oh, wow. If we can do, load, do all of them and then go to the trader, it would be awesome. And the trader is open all night, which is even better, which is great. So let's go over here and um, do the lumberjack quest. I didn't realize we had all these quests and I completely forgot that um, the trader takes all of them and gives us money and experience for it. That is really awesome. I wonder if the bank has money. So let's have a quick look. I think we have some lockpicks. We have five lockpicks. So which means if we go in there and we need lockpicks, we should be okay. Okay, let's just get this guy here as well. Excellent stuff. Oh. Always loot. Nice. Nice. Okay, let's see this. Okay. safe let's wake everything up that's here 
Oh, boxes, nice. Nobody here. Okay. Loads of bankers. Okay. I want to make sure that nothing comes and hits us in the back. Get those bones. We got actually loads of bones from those um, dogs. Which was actually pretty impressive. Oh, nice. That is lovely. Oh, that, oh that, it was a book. Forge ahead book. Oh, okay. I don't know if we should read that. Okay, somebody else here. Yeah, I think dealing with the constant incoming zombies is actually a bigger pain in the ass than anything else. So I think the zombies now hopefully should stop flowing in and give us a chance to open the safe. Third lock is the charm? Nope. The fourth lock pick? Okay, four lock picks. Four some steel cross walls, but generic schematics, which is really, really good. That is nice. Okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go and come here when we have loads of lock picks. So we should probably mark that uh, bank on the map. There we go. Let's mark it on the map. Yeah, this here is a bank. Save the wave point. Make it a kachinga. Bank. Kachinga. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh. Oh, hello. We need those bones. I do not have the required materials to repair this item. What are you talking about? Okay. Why does it not tell me what I need to repair? That is so weird. I have iron. Oh, I don't. Interesting. I thought I had iron. And this book is the Forge Ahead book. I think we already have that. Yeah, we already have two levels of that. So we're going to scrap this, which should give us... Yeah, there we go. Generic um, or whatever they're called. Um, bundle of skill notes. Excellent, let's go. Okay, let's get ourselves some... There we go. Okay, let's get the spear. No, don't miss him. Don't miss him. He's a big guy. You shouldn't miss him. Okay, one down, two to go. There we go. When you miss something that's the size of a wardrobe right in front of you, that oh, hacks, I'm telling you. There we go. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Okay, is that done? We kill. What do you mean kill three frozen? It's not my fault they weren't frozen. Ah, oh, you're killing me, man. So this quest assumes that we were in the snow biome. Well, that's wonderful. Okay, the fetch quest is actually near the trader, um, but we also have a black wolf here. So let's get this one first. There we go, he's nearly dead. There we go, nice, excellent stuff, beautiful. Not bad quality meal, okay. That was a pretty good meal. I didn't eat anything, why would you say that? That's weird. <laughs> we gotta get some meat. But apparently the fetch quest is right. Oh, this was the fetch. No, this is the trader I taught. No, this was the fetch quest. That wasn't the trader. Oh, okay, I just saw the marker there and I was like, oh yeah, that's the fetch quest. Okay, so let's, um... okay, let's do this, guys. 
Is that another black wolf? Holy balls, there's like loads of them. Okay, let's go and get um, to the fetch quest. And then we can go to the trader. Okay, this is the tier 1 fetch quest. So I just have to dispatch of a couple of guys. I have the bicycle on me. Actually, let's put the bicycle in our hotbar just in case. There we go. Is the bark like right here? In the rafters or something? Okay, let's um, go to the head end of this guy. Just a bunch of him on the head. Okay. Um, Him. But he's not feral, so it's okay. Okay. Do we have some metal now, some iron? Yes, we do. So we can repair our axe a little bit. Okay, so where is the bag? Oh, here. That was quick. Okay, quest done. Let's go to the trader. Excellent. And it shows us now finally the way back to the trader as well, which is good. So this was not the trader. This was actually me thinking that it was the trader. Okay. Let's go back to the trader. And this time, mark the trader on the map. Here we go. We're going to get close to the trader now. Excellent. Okay, where's the front door? The other side, is it? Excellent. So now the first thing we're going to do is mark this guy on the map. Save. Trader. Excellent. Okay. Trader Jules. Okay, we have a few things to hand in now. Let's see, can we take any of that? We already did all that. Okay. Can I not talk to you? Why can I not talk to you? Return to trader. I, I am at the trader. Are you kidding me? Really? I can't interact with you. Oh, you must be kidding me. Why is this bugged? Oh, man. Really? Okay, we're gonna have to reload this. This is... Oh, man. Okay, I pushed the trader around a little bit in uh, God mode because I thought maybe if he responds and actually now... Oh, there he is. He died immediately. Oh, wow. Search? Oh, wow, okay. Well, I reloaded now, so Thank I should you, be able to talk to him. Excellent. Family, okay. And I are in your debt. Okay. Here is your reward. So, iron fire arcs we don't need. First aid bandages better. This is just... Tukes and experience, tukes and experience. Let's see. Buried supplies, we don't want to do buried supplies. And the closest clear zombie or fetch quest is 1.3 kilometers away from here. They're so far away. I mean, the buried supply the buried supply quest we could theoretically do. 300 meters to the, to the northwest. Oh, Let's see how terrible it is, because this is not a very hilly map. So we should be okay, but we're gonna do that next time guys because it's already getting dark and we got a lot of experience Did we get another point? Yeah, we did. All right, look at that. These guys keep killing zombies and they're dropping bags. Very nice. I like it. Anyway, guys I'm gonna leave this here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it If you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and I hope I see you guys in the next video And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time until then as always feel Spaß and happy gaming